Welcome to Western Mass News at 5. I'm Beth Ward. Chris is off tonight. Governor Charlie Baker, along with Massachusetts health officials, are providing an update on the status of the coronavirus here in the Bay State. Moments ago, they discussed the steps they are taking to prepare for an outbreak and prevent the spread of the virus. Western Mass News reporter Audrey Russo joins us in the studio now with the latest. Audrey. Beth, it was said at least three times during the press conference that Massachusetts residents are still considered at low risk for contracting coronavirus. They say there's still only, to this day, one confirmed case of the virus in the Commonwealth and that the person is recovering. But they say that they're still readying themselves for a potential outbreak. It is possible we will see more cases and we are preparing for it. Mary Lou Sutters, Secretary of Health and Human Services for Massachusetts, says they're beginning an aggressive public information campaign about the coronavirus. And starting very shortly, we will, we will start public messaging on roadway electronic message boards and on the MBTA. Even though there's only been one confirmed case of the virus in Massachusetts, health officials have been monitoring more than 600 people for the disease. 231 are still within their 14 days of home self Quarantine. Now, Sutter says the state's coronavirus website will be updated regularly with information on who's in quarantine. Wednesdays at noontime, you can go on to the website and get the latest numbers of individuals who are being monitored and the number of individuals who've been cleared. Friday, Massachusetts received clearance to test their own patients for coronavirus rather than sending samples to the Centers for Disease Control. Health officials commented Monday on the speed of this testing process. The state lab has an adequate supply of test kits from the CDC at this time. The anticipated turnaround time of test results from our state lab is 24 hours depending on test volume. Governor Charlie Baker says he recently established an incident command structure to help organize communication in the event of an outbreak, including making sure hospitals have the supplies they need to fight the virus. DPH is in regular contact with the Commonwealth's hospitals to ensure that they are prepared. Coming up on Western Mass News at 6, we'll take a closer look at how several local hospitals are preparing their facilities and their nurses as the virus continues to spread globally. Live in studio, Audrey Russo for Western Mass News.